Joachim Brzezina and I am the head of air quality department at the Czech Hydrometeorological Institute in Brno. Uh, our department uh, deals with air quality. We monitor the concentrations of air pollutants in the air as well as try to identify the sources of pollution. This is extremely important because air pollution in general has a major effect on our health and also ecosystems. Then using this information, we can therefore try to eliminate these sources of pollution as well reducing the concentrations of pollutants in the air. There are quite a few air pollutants as well as different sources of pollution. Uh, we can uh, group them into various categories, for example, transportation, and a very important source is uh, local domestic heating and also, of course, um, industrial sources. There are several types of ambient air quality monitoring stations. We have approximately 200 stationary stations in the Czech Republic and several others which are used for other projects. Um, these stations uh, can have various options. One of them is having a large station which uh, has, is equipped with several analyzers which provide real-time data about air quality. The other option is having a, a sampler which is much smaller which can be an advantage. It does not provide real-time data but it uses filters where uh, the individual particles in the air are trapped on the filter which is then transported to a laboratory where uh, a lab technician analyzes the filter. We can this way determine for example concentrations of heavy metals or other carcinogenic compounds or we can use this filter for further analysis in different ways. We can use one of these samplers, for example, for a further analysis using a scanning electron microscope. Here behind me you can see a scanning electron microscope from the company Tescan, which we use since 2015. The primary goal of this uh, technique is to better understand what particles are in the air, which then in turn can uh, allow us to actually identify its source. The reason why we use a microscope to look at the particles is because we look at smaller particles in the range of uh, up to 10 micrometers. The reason for that is that uh, larger particles usually do not get further into the lungs and respiratory system, uh, unlike the smaller particles which we cannot see using naked eye, and such particles penetrate deep through the respiratory system or even uh, directly into the bloodstream. And if such particle uh, has some, for example, carcinogenic compound attached to it, uh, this compound is then directly transferred into your body, which is why it is important to actually try to identify the sources and eliminate these particles from the air. Once the filter is in the microscope chamber, we can identify the individual particles using image analysis and then each particle is analyzed separately. In general, we try to analyze at least 2000 particles per filter. And then the result is such a spectrum which is produced for each particle where we can see the individual peaks and each peak represents a certain element. So this way we can try to predict what uh, is in that particle and what could have been the source of that particle, of course using also the information about its shape and size. So in conclusion, why we bought a Tescan electron microscope? Well, this technique does not replace any of the conventional techniques which determine the actual concentrations of air pollutants in the air, but it allows us to look at the individual particles, physically look at them, take a picture, and then analyze the individual particles, which can in some cases be a key to identifying the source of that particle and therefore be able to do something about uh, reducing uh, that particular pollution.